They jumped up registers really quick. Oh! They're gonna fuck you up! <laughs> Dang, they didn't even give me a chance to process what I just heard. So now you're reacting to the girl group Yoja Idol and their song Lion, released recently on the Korean reality show called Queendom. The lyrics use the imagery of a lion to express the power of a queen. In the wild, lions are matriarchal and the females do the majority of the hunting. The use of the lion in the song shows the strength of women in society. The video is theorized to be based on the story of Joan of Arc and the symbolism can be seen in the individual scenes of the girls. Many surrounded by arrows, Soyeon in prison, and Yuki with a halo. And the song is composed by the member Soyeon, she's the rapper, and the songwriter Yummy Tone. <laughs> yummy. Dude, so I'm gonna listen for play... yummy tone, and I'm gonna listen for empowerment. Let's let's, let's find that. Let's get let's get that bread. Let's find that bag. Let's find that baguette. Let let let's get that baguette. Okay. Do you hear that bass? <laughs> yeah, I hear that bass. <laughs> the little like. Whoa. I love how she's not moving. It's just her face. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, she's giving me Sia vibes. Yeah, I know. I was about to say. Yeah. Ooh. Too rough in the bed. They jumped up registers really quick. Oh. They're gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Dang, they didn't even give me a chance to process what I just heard. This beat is interesting. It feels very, it has a lot of substance in it. I think the piano chords have something to do with it. Wow, they balance the piano really well. You can hear it over all of the other instruments mm -hmm. happening. You're right. Helps to outline the chords super well. Yeah. These are the same chords as I Need a Hero, like the 80s song. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, bump, do, dump, bump. That syncopated, what is that, like synth hits? I love the uh, the rhythmic synths in the back. They function both like harmonically and rhythmically. Mm -hmm. I like, I feel like we're like watching them level up. <laughs> You know, like they're starting with like just a bare minimum, they're like clawing their way up and they're like getting more and more powerful. Mm. I think there's something about it that makes it feel so relaxed and comfortable and like, yes, yeah. bitch. <laughs> I'm a lion. <laughs> the claws. I know. The claws. That's how I'm trying to be. I'm a queen like a lion. Oh. Oh. oh, those triplets are sick. And then back to 16. Yes. Yes. They didn't do a roar. I would have loved the roar there. If they if put one more lion roar in there. No, I like the quiet. You like breathe it? and then in. And then there's a. Uh, this is and they bring back like the lament base, but this time they layered it. It's like this beginning, her, her singing the timbre, the reverb. Yeah, and the reliance on the rhythm. Is this where it ends? Yeah! What? Fuck. You better. Fuck. I'm like really shook. Like that was like perfect in like every way. They know what qualities their voices have and like the contrast that they do it with. Like one person will do like a really like soft voice timbre and then somebody mm -hmm. will come in super like real like and just how they like contrast that like mm -hmm. one after the other. It's like a good like touch 
and I really liked how in the beginning they used a lot of drumming and that reminds me of kind of like the African drumming and just like you're like in a jungle. The, just the, the register in which a lot of them were singing is like really, really low for women, but I think that ties into the like, jungle. we're badass bitches. Low singing isn't just for men. Like usually women are relegated to like, hi, like wilty vibrato, but no, they were like, we're getting like down in the weeds because we're the shit and we can do what we want. Like that was sort of the vibe I got from that. Mm -hmm. And it was so good. I really like their transitions in between like oh. pieces. And like this had like the smoothest like rap transition. I feel like whenever there's like a rap verse and like a Korean pop song, they have to like completely mm -hmm. change what they're doing before. But this just went mm -hmm. to the original drumming beat. And she was yeah. good. Oh, okay, sorry. They're all really good. Yeah. Man, sometimes it's easy to think that you know, without cool chords, there are no good songs. And oftentimes, depending on what songs we react to, we can fall in that mindset. But I think this song really proves that you don't need really cool chords to make a cool song. Mm. But you do need really fresh beats, lots of variety in the soundscapes, and even some structurally interesting things. Mm. And you can make a song that's very good and I think deserves its empowering title. It's important that when you have like a just beat that continuously goes through the whole entire section that you have differences on top and they really sold it because they have differences in voices, difference in the approach to singing those lines and that that's what kept the attention for me. This almost doesn't feel like pop and I mean that in a way because with K-pop and other genres of pop music, there's a specific type of beats, usage of percussion that I always expect. And with the usage here, it reminds me more of a hip hop beat mm. because of the creativity and the way it kind of, it doesn't stand out from the instruments with the whole loudness war thing trying to one up it, but it really integrates itself well. And that type of integration that doesn't, it's not just dynamics, it's also the timbre and the tone. It reminds me of a hip hop beat, but obviously they're singing over it mostly, which is very cool. Well, I think this is another one of those times when like you can't really separate the music from the visuals. Like the visuals are so important to the story they're trying to tell. A lot of it was in the, the dancing, the movements, and a lot of power statements with the outfits they were wearing and their body language was meant to be very like aggressive. Um, so I think that paired with an aggressively minor key, which they cement with, you know, lots of stepwise motion, plus a really, uh, it's not complicated, but like there is some polyrhythm in there that just kind of gets the groove going really steadily. I think that does kind of accomplish that point. I agree, yeah, that all makes sense. I mean, the, the whole video just felt like, like it was meant to show power in the, the video itself and in the music. Um, like everything felt very stable and strong. I mean, I think to go off of what Fiona just said about- The use of like space and silence really makes it, <sighs> you have to lean in to hear. The spaciousness and kind of the um, expansiveness, I think that's a better word of mm -hmm. the music. Um, the lament bass is kind of stretched out. So there is like a slower harmonic rhythm to it. And at the same time you hear like the small pulses, the metric and rhythmic pulses, like bum, 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 right? which sounds like a heartbeat. Yeah, and so I think they definitely try to go after this growling, low, kind of like in the wild, like in the bushes, lion sort of feel by emulating with the range of their voice to sound really low, you know? Like the way I am trying to make myself sound, I suppose. Like, uh. Yeah, this was a darker song. It sounded like it was like high energy, but it was still like relaxed. So I think that captures the power of a lion. And they did that through like having lots of space in the song and having very powerful vocals reigning over everything else going on. Yo. So did you get that empowerment and yummy? They were, they were leveling oh, up, my dude. Plenty of yummy. Like, yeah, they were, they were next level. That's it, that's, it. that's, that's just next level. It, yeah. I said it in the <laughs> middle of the song, but they literally started out with like just like the plain like one color like very simple looking like dress, and then like every time they came back and you saw them, they were like wearing mm. more and more bling, and then they were putting the crowns on, and they had the red outfit at the end. It was finally in yeah, color. Yeah, like an up I was, chin like, Look looking at, down pose kind of thing. Like yeah. I feel like I'm seeing these Pokemon like level zero to level fifty to level one hundred. I really liked that low hum at the beginning. It's it really sets. 
this kind of question mark of like, where are they gonna go with this? You know? Yeah. They I can either go bump, bump, bump. They can yeah, pop yeah, into yeah. something. But, uh, and that's, I think that's what they did. I thought they would build up more from that one bass layer and then a simple drum beat, but they went straight into it. It was it kind of caught me off guard. Like how a lion catches you off guard when it hunts you and goes, yeah. Nice. Come, come.